So differentials and approximating function values, we're asked here to use differentials to approximate the value of the square root of 99.4. This is what's happening in my head. I'm thinking to myself, you know what, I wish it wasn't 99.4. I wish it was the square root of 100. I wish this 99.4 is 100 because I know the square root of 100 is equal to 10. So given that, I'm going to take this fact that we're supposed to have brought with us, and that fact is this, that f of x plus change in x is about equal to f of x plus f prime at x dx, where dx is the change in x value. So then I'm just going to do this. I'm going to define my function. I'm going to say, you know what? My function, f of x, is going to be square root x. The x value that I like is 100. And this difference right here, the change in x, is, well, the number I need, 99.4, so 99.4 minus 100 equals negative 0.6, doesn't it? From here, I'm just going to get to work. And now what I'm doing is, just to be clear, is I'm trying to build this thing. So this is what you're supposed to get right now. This is the thing you're supposed to go, okay, this is the tool. So here's the tool right here that we're supposed to be able to use. So start putting that stuff together. You know that f prime at x, right? We know this is the same as x to the 1 half, don't we? So this is the same as 1 half x to the negative 1 half which is exactly the same as 1 over 2 square roots of x. So far, so good? Okay, so here we go. Now, again, to build this piece here, I'm just going to try to find this value I'm looking for. So f of x is the square root. We said we're going to have x equal 100, so square root of 100. This plus sign right here is this one right here. f prime at x is 1 over 2 times square root of 100, right? times the change in x, so now I'm looking for this piece right here, this change in x value, and the change in x value is negative 0.6, isn't it? So from here, this turns into, and you're going to be furious, you're like, what the hell? if I can use a calculator, why wouldn't I use a calculator for the whole thing? But this, frankly, is your answer right here. So it's 10 plus this value. And when we get to that, just to have it said, turns out to be about, let me do this again, about, because I have a rounding issue here, it's going to be about 9.96, 9.96 if you want some more, 9.95. And that makes some sense because 99.4 is almost 100, and the square root of 100 is, is 10, so this is the square root of 99.4. Remembering, please, that the most likely answer that your professor would be looking for would be this answer right here, because this is you using your differential. What should you have remembered? You should have remembered this. This is crucial to us. helps us to move forward. I'm going to do one more video on this today, and then I'm going to wait to hear back from you. I hope this is helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and your comments are always welcome.